I wish Jesus would heal Evan. I've prayed and prayed for his cancer to go away. What else can I do? Praying is the right thing to do, but you can also visit your friend and let him know that you care. Happy Sunday and welcome to Keys for Kids. My name is Zach. If you have a friend in the hospital, you may wonder when and if God will heal them. Sometimes God uses doctors to heal and sometimes even miracles. Still, other times God chooses to allow the illness to continue. Besides praying, keep encouraging your friend in every way possible. 1 Thessalonians 5.14 says, Encourage those who are afraid, help those who are weak. Always try to do what is good for each other and for all people. And now for our story. It's called A Hole in the Roof. Jackson stood in the backyard looking up at the roof of his house. It was a busy place. A remodeling crew climbed up and down ladders working on the rectangular-shaped hole in the roof. Having a skylight will really brighten up our dark kitchen, said Dad as he joined him. This reminds me of a Bible story we learned about in church last week. Jackson said as he watched the workers carefully lifting the window. It was about four men who brought their sick friend to Jesus. They cut a hole in the roof and let him down through it to where Jesus was. Dad nodded. I know the story. There was such a crowd around the house that they couldn't get the paralyzed man in through the door. Even with power tools, it's a big job to cut a hole in the roof, said Jackson, standing back to watch the men work. My teacher said that in Bible times, roofs would have been flatter, with stairs going to the top. After a moment, Jackson sighed. Anyway, the story made me kind of sad. Cole and I talked about how we wish we could be like those men and take Evan to Jesus to be healed. Dad gave him a sad smile. You can do that in prayer, he replied. We have, but Evan still has cancer, said Jackson. Doesn't Jesus heal anymore? Yes, Jesus still heals, Dad assured him. Sometimes he uses doctors to do that. Other times he heals with a miracle. But sometimes, like with your grandmother, he brings the person to be in his presence in heaven, fully and forever, where there's no sickness. Jackson wasn't satisfied. But is there anything Cole and I can do to help Evan besides pray? Visit him whenever you can, replied Dad and telling him about things like the skylight and what's going on at school and church. If I were sick, it would make me feel better just to know I had friends who would gladly put me on a stretcher, carry me up to the roof, and cut a hole to get me to Jesus. Let Evan know that since you can't do that, you'll keep on taking him to Jesus in your prayers. So how about you? Do you have a friend or a relative that's very ill? Do you feel like there's nothing you can do to help? You can pray for that person, trusting God to work in the best possible way. Jesus is with us when we're hurting, and he listens to our prayers. You can also encourage that person by sending cards or messages and visiting them. Do what you can to let them know that you care, and that Jesus does too. Our key verse is 1 Thessalonians 5.14. Comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all. And our key thought for Sunday, comfort those who are sick. This December, I want to invite you to celebrate Advent with my podcast, Countdown to Christmas with Zach. I'll have a story for you every day and then talk about it with kids your age. It's a great way to stay connected to Jesus through the busy holiday and to discover more about why Jesus came to earth. So ask your mom or dad to search for Countdown to Christmas with Zach on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm Zach with Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.